At Tokyo's Haneda Airport, a Belarusian sprinter is being protected by police against a threat she claims that's from her home nation. Kristina Tsimanowskaya says she was being forcibly repatriated for publicly criticizing her coaches and so posted a video online calling for help. I'm asking the International Olympic Committee for help. I'm being put under pressure to leave the country. I'm asking the IOC to get involved in this. The IOC says it's spoken with the 24-year-old who's being guarded by police and received assurances from airport staff that she is safe. A Japanese refugee lawyer was seen speaking to officers, offering the athlete counsel. After running in the 100-metre heats on Friday, she was due to compete in the 200 metres on Monday, but the athlete was withdrawn from the Games completely after complaining online about how she had been entered into another event, the 400-metre relay, at short notice. What followed, campaigners say, was yet another example of the Belarusian surveillance state and how its citizens aren't even safe on the other side of the world. This whole situation began when pro-government and propaganda channels started a negative campaign against her. It was quite serious and a clear signal that her life would be in danger in Belarus. Dissent is rapidly stamped out in the Eastern European country, where authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko has held power for nearly 30 years. Mass protests against a disputed election last summer were followed by a brutal crackdown that saw athletes who took part defunded, demoted and detained. The Belarusian Olympic Committee says Tsimanowskaya was taken off the team because of her emotional and psychological condition. She says it's because she spoke out and is now refusing to return home. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.